Hello, welcome to Wiffle Talk on KCWBC TV. I'm Floyd and this is Colin. And now the guest of the week, Bill Hunziger. What's going on, Bill? What have you been up to? Just got back from the beach, man. Taking a little BP and trying to get the boys ready for next week. Oh, yeah. That's good, that's good. Yawn. And now for the six pack parrot bay. Question number one. If the season were to end today, who would win the BFP? You know, I'd probably have to go with Coy Medina. I mean, he's just a well-rounded athlete, just great competitor. Uh, leads all, leads the league in almost all the batting stats right now. Just barely up for me. I'm coming for you, Medina. Anyways, he's great, great competitor. He, he's uh, one of the best batters in the league. He's a great, great pitcher. He, he's really got his pitching game going. He's a, he's a Hicktown's ace right now, you know. I mean, he's, if it ended today, he'd have to go to Medina. I hate to agree with him, but I'm going to go with Corey Medina. I mean, he's a hitter. He's a pitcher. I mean, he does it all. And right now he's doing it right. It's my pick. All right. Question number two. Who would win the quiz? The quiz would probably have, I'd have to say Corey again. He's, I mean, if you look at the stats, I mean, great. He hasn't pitched as many innings as me right now. I mean, I'm leading the league right now in strikeouts, but uh, I pitched a few more innings. Great. He's got some guys out there to help him out, but uh, out in the field. But you know what can you do? But he, I'd, I'd have to go with Corey again right now if you're looking at the stat wise. So yeah, that, that's a tough one for me to pick right now. Uh, I'm in between. I mean, Corey's a hell of a pitcher. Hunziker right here is a hell of a pitcher, and uh, Billy Grab's a pretty good pitcher. But right now, I'm gonna have to go with our guest right now, Hunziker. He's pitching the best to me right now. And if I had to p put my vote in, that's who I'd pick. All right. Question number three: Who would win the Golden Claw? Golden Claw? Now that's a tough one. You know, I mean, we've got a. Schooley, Schooley, he's up for it, man. I mean, he's he'll be diving into cages, up on the wall. Every he'll he'll rob you, man. I mean, he he doesn't care. I mean, whatever it takes to get to the ball, he'll get there to it. You know, it's it's a toss up between him and Hick Hijack or Hicktown uh, Clint Fassey. Clint Fassey's won it the past two seasons in a row, and he don't it, you hit it to his side. You hate to hit over to either one of them because you know. Nine times out of ten, if it's even remotely, it doesn't have to be routine, they're going to catch it. are done. Yeah, you might as well not even walk to the base. They're done, son. I, I would have to go with Clint or Jesse. I don't know. That'd be tough. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make the safe pick right now. School had a hell of a run at the beginning of the season, but here at the end of our first half of the season, he's kind of struggled. So I'm going to go, go with the safe pick. And the usual pick, Clint Fassie. Question number four. Who will win the Cherry Award or Rookie of the Year? You know, last year, I had a player with balls deep. Joe Godera took it. Uh, I'm sad to say he's not with us this year. But right now, I'd have to say it's between Soko's Perchett and... Uh, I'd probably have to go with Joey with Hicktown Bombers. They both, uh, Pritchett is, he's, uh, he's doing good with the bat, with the deep ball, you know, he just, he's got to get his, his batting average up a little bit if he wants to compete with Joey right now. And Joey needs to do what Pritchett's doing, get the, get the long ball going right now. And it's going to be a run to the end. I mean, it's, there's a lot of new guys this year. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to have to go with probably Joey. Question number five. Which team has surprised you the most to this point in the season? You know, I'm going to have to go with the, the young rookie team, SoCo. I mean, they, they beat some good teams. They've, they've tied one of the teams that's been to the, the championship twice in a row the past two seasons that we've had the league. And they're just very deceiving. I mean, a lot of teams go in there looking to just walk all over them. And they don't let it happen, man. They, they're always in every game they play, and they're just, they're in every game. 
Uh, I'd have to go with Soko. Yeah, I like the Young Lutz, but I'm going to go with Green Machine. I mean, they have a different player on their team every week, whether he's on his motorcycle getting rained out or we got someone with grease all over his hands. It doesn't matter. They come, they're consistent, they play hard, and they win games. I'm going to go with Green Machine. Question number six. Which team has been the biggest disappointment so far? The biggest disappointment this far? I'd have to go, I hate to say it, but I mean, my team, we started off 3-0. and To start the season, There, we had a lot of high expectations. I mean, this is our third season into the league. I'm expecting a lot more out of, of balls deep, my own team. I'm not trying to downgrade anybody or any player on my team, but we need to step up and, and start playing because whatever's going on right now, I and mean, we're on a seven-game losing streak. It's embarrassing more than anything. And I think a lot of people expected us to be at least the leader of the division of the South, or at least a runner-up right now. I'm going to have to go with balls deep. I'm going to go with the Woodcocks. I mean, they got a lot of potential, but they sure don't know how to use it. I mean, every week they get either get frustrated and just completely screw up a game, or they just don't seem to know what they're doing. They got a lot of potential, they got good players, but nobody can tell what they're doing. That's it for the six pack. Any other thoughts you got, Bill? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we've got, me and the, the team have been talking, and uh, this guy's decided to move down as captain and finally make me captain. Really? Really? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good choice for the team. I've got a lot of leadership skills. I mean, I've led the team in every category that you can think of on the field. I've showed my leadership skills. I try to keep the team in every game the best I can, but there's going to be some things that are going to change. So, yeah. what, well, I mean, what kind of moves are you looking to make? I mean, we're going to, have to, we're going to be looking and finding new prospects to play on the team. I mean, one of our top prospects right now is going to be Travis, Travis Jacks, currently with okay. Green Machine. Uh, he's kind of a throw-in on their team right now. He just he just got back into it. He played the first season. I liked what he did that year. You know, I mean, I I like to be a teammate with him. You know, and maybe maybe something better could happen than what's going on right now. And so, would you say he's your number one prospect right now? Right now, he's one of the guys that I'm after. But I and mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see, talk to Captain of a Green Machine. Talk to Ashley and, and see what, what we can work out right now. I mean, if, if it comes yeah. down to we have to trade, there might possibly be a trade. But if okay. he just wants to release him off the roster, that's he's a, he's a good pick. He's a good pick. But then there's also there's other options. And what are some of your other options real quick? Me and uh, former captain Scooter, Scotty, we've, uh, we've been talking about... Real quick, come on. We've been talking about... Picking up maybe Schooley. Jesse Schooley of the Woodcocks. Jesse Schooley of the Woodcocks. Well, you'd have to trying do that to make, in a trade. Trying to make a trade for him. Woodcocks are lacking one thing. We're lacking one thing. One of one of the things that we're lacking. Real quick, who's your, who are you going to trade? Break it down. Who are you going to trade? Who I was thinking about trading? Either Nick or Scotty for, for Schooley. And do you think that makes sense for the Woodcocks, though? Woodcocks, they need more power. Nick brings more power to the table. Schooley brings better feeling to the table for balls deep. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see how this will work out. and uh... Something's going to happen different, though. We've okay. lost seven straight. we got to do something. Okay, it looks like balls deep wants to make some changes. Thank you for tuning in to KCWBC-TV. And a th special thanks to Big Bill Hunsaker. I'm Floyd, this is Colin. See you next week. Don't forget to log on to the site. www.kcwbc.com.